This video is about installing PhoneGap and creating a PhoneGap project. Just a quick summary of what we've already done in class. So in order to install PhoneGap, we need to have Node.js installed. So if you visit, if you don't have that already, go to nodejs.org. You'll be able to download and install the current version of Node. Once that's installed, it should be also included in your path variable, your environmental variable. We also want to visit uh, GitHub and we're going to go to the NPM, the Node Package Manager uh, tool for Node. Um, we're going to download this. If you come to the site github.com slash npm slash npm, you'll be able to find this project and scroll down a little bit and then over on the right hand side, um, you guys, there we go, you should be able to find the download zip. So even if you don't have Git, if you're not using that, you can download the zip and use that to unpack and install NPM. So with those tools, once we have Node Package Manager and we have Node itself installed on our machine, we're ready to create a PhoneGap project. Now, to create the PhoneGap project, we have to install PhoneGap itself. Now, there are two versions. One's called PhoneGap, one's called Cordova. So there's Cordova, the other one is called PhoneGap. The difference between these two really is that Cordova is the open source version of PhoneGap. PhoneGap is Adobe's paid commercial version. Cordova is the open source. The two code bases are, are pretty much identical. There's always a slight variation depending on which features are being developed by the open source community versus by Adobe, but they always bring them back into sync. Um, if you're going to install PhoneGap, it's usually because you're going to be using PhoneGap build service to compile the platform apps. If you use Cordova, typically you're going to be creating, building, doing these things yourself from the command line. So Cordova is what I'm going to do. And to install Cordova itself, to make sure you have the latest version, we're going to say npm install. Now this is the basic command that's part of Node Package Manager because I already have this installed. I can say npm install. I'll put in the dash g argument, meaning install it globally so I can run it from anywhere on my computer. And I'm going to say that I want to install Cordova. I hit enter. Node Package Manager is going to go off to the server. It's going to make a whole bunch of requests. It's going to try to get the latest version of Cordova for me. And there will be a whole series of files. And you can see, I don't know how well you can read these here, but you'll see there's an HTTP get for a file and then a 200 status code. A get and a 200, get and 200. And this will just cycle through all the various files. I'm going to pause here for a moment just while it does all these downloads. Okay, and it's almost done now. You can see there's quite a few files that get uh, downloaded onto the computer. Once these are all done, there'll be a big block of text at the bottom saying that you do have all these files installed. Um, we're just making sure that we get no error messages. If there are error messages anywhere inside here, there we go, we're done. If there are any error messages, we want to just rerun the install command. That's all we have to do and keep doing it again and again and again until finally it will all be installed. Now, I have Cordova installed on my computer so I can create a PhoneGap or Cordova project. We just need to choose where we're going to do it. So I'm going to say CD, which is change directory. I'm going to go into my WAMP www mad9022 folder. That's where I'm going to create my project. And I will use the Cordova command to create my project inside here. Now the Cordova create command has three arguments to it. So create is the command we're doing first argument is what's the name of the folder that's going to contain your project. So I'll call it Cordova demo. Second argument is what is the package name? Now we're going to be standardizing this for all of our classes. ca.edgemedia. And then we're going to say our username. So for me right now, I will just use that. That's my package name. And then I want to know the name of, or Cordova wants to know the name of the class that's going to be created as the first Java 
program that's going to run whenever your app is launched. So I'm going to call mine Cordova demo. And I guess it would help if I spelled that correctly. Cordova. There we go. Cordova demo. I hit enter. And there we go. So it's created a new Cordova project with the name Cordova demo with that package name and that's the location. So it created this Cordova demo folder all lowercase. You need to make sure that that folder does not exist before you do this process. The create command is going to create that folder for you. Right, so I just jumped over to Windows Explorer here. There it is. Cordova demo. That is my folder. This is what was created by that create command. So I have the platforms folder, which you can see is currently empty. We're going to bring Android into that folder. www, this is where all of our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will go. And there's our config file. Various plugins, if you want to use the accelerometer and so on, this is where those will be installed. Okay, so jumping back over here, now that I have my folder created, I'm going to add Android in here because I want to turn what I'm building into an Android app. Step one is jump into the folder. So I'm going to go inside of Cordova demo. There we are. Now I'm inside the Cordova demo folder. Now if I run a Cordova command, Cordova understands that this is the project that I'm talking about. So I will say Cordova and platform add Android. Enter. It says it's creating the Android project. This means it's bringing in everything that it needs to create an Android app. If I now go back into my platforms folder, there it is. There's the Android folder and everything that we need for the project. And that's it. So we now have a Cordova Android app ready to roll. We could, if we wanted, even build this. Let's say Cordova build. Android. Boom. And that will compile an actual Android application for me. This will create the APK file. While that's running, I'll just jump over here. We're going to Platforms, Android, and into the bin folder. This is where the Android project actually gets created. And there it is. There's our APK file. That's our Android app. And that is command line for installing Cordova, creating a Cordova project, and adding Android to the platform.